Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello and uh, welcome to tonight's fantastic dinosaur action and uh, sweeping, sweeping action. Ritual of Soot is the sweeper of choice for my dinosaur deck tonight. It oftentimes was Extinction Event and, you know, I'll still try it here or there. That might still be the sweeper of choice, but I just had an itch as we move a couple days away to Thunder Junction, Vaultborn Tyrant. It's a lovely, massive creature. Ritual of Soot does not take that out. It only cares about the small stuff. And this particular way of playing dinosaurs does not have small stuff. Oh, going a little off the screen there. One second. Good, good. I think we're good. Probably close enough. Oh, a little bit too big. Okay. Alrighty. Things are shifted around a little bit still the ley line of sanctity i just had the itch to try it in the sideboard as opposed to starting it with it again i'm not too worried if that was the case Earthshaker dreadmaw is the thing i had in the sideboard whenever it enters we draw a card for each dinosaur we control and the deck is basically dinosaurs and the deck has some dinosaurs that are multiple dinos in one again Polanyi's hatcher three dinos in one perfect perfect pairing for the Earthshaker dread maw lots of lots of card draw but again this is the stand-in for the new vault born tyrant from the big set the supplementary set that is combined with thunder junction mm, man that dino so much better than this incredibly better it only costs one more, but Vaultborn Tyrant is an 8-8 trample. When it enters, we draw a card and we gain 3 life, 4 life, something like that. No opponent is ever going to use removal on it, because then you just create a copy of it that is also an artifact. So, the Earthshaker Dreadmaw, you play this into nothing, and you don't get to draw a card. And then the opponent might kill it, and you're not drawing a card. However, if you're playing Vault Bard Tyrant into nothing, that is way, way better. Sometimes, though, you get into a sticky situation. Earthshaker, Dreadmaw, Castle Garenbrig, Sunken Citadel, two other lands are able to activate Castle Garenbrig's ability with four lands total, including that. On turn four, you know, the, the only play you have might be the Dreadmaw. You would like to draw cards, but you might want to get it down to perhaps deter aggression from an opponent something like that they might only have small creatures and speaking of small creatures ritual of soot Oops. yeah there you go destroy all creatures with a mana value three or less what does that hit what does that hurt celestia angels boom i've got the eye wind sweeper doesn't matter how big they are you get the idea there it is. And this doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, for some of you, especially playing dinosaur decks that involve the smaller creatures. Blanowar Elf, Elvish Mystic, the lovely Marauding Raptor. Very fantastic. But is Ritual of Soot potentially the best sweeper for this variation? What I'm doing here, I think there's a pretty good case. Of course, it is some of the hardest matchups aggro decently sized creatures hitting creatures with a mana value up to three sometimes with this sort of thing it only hits creatures with a mana value two or less this is going to just be extra extra devastating yeah i'm quite excited Whew, whew lovely lovely but again Urshaker Dreadmaw is Vaultborn. I'm always going to be starting with Vaultborn Tyrant and probably never cutting it because it is going to feel so incredibly fantastic. So the stand-in, the the poor man's stand-in. Oh, a big fan. Wow. I'm going to get revenge on Mono Black Waste Not Commander Crane. Hopefully, uh, cross my fingers, make all those pesky zombies go away. But the big hate against mono black waste not is i would imagine ley line of sanctity oh go blank how about their deck blanks because they can't make me discard anything oh isn't that lovely i think i i don't know 
It's my least favorite deck to face, potentially. Actually, it's probably Mill. If I had to choose a deck that was my least favorite, it would be Mill. Maybe Mono Black close to the, the bottom of the barrel, to put it nicely. And yeah, just, otherwise everything's pretty much the same. Anoint with Affliction. I actually beat an Amalia Explorer opponent today because I let them go Court of Calling. They were going to search for the Wild Growth Walker, combining the life gain, you know, doing that chain, getting Amalia to 20 power. Uh, painful. But right as it was about to pop off, the first trigger was going to go on Amalia. Boom. Anoint with Affliction. Exiled. I paid three life for her ward and uh, they never recovered and they could never get her back because this is exile so for the most part i think this would be the amalia win card ritual of soot no angels no small stuff ley line of sanctity mono black waste knot and terra sunder yeah i still like terra sunder perhaps if it's something that focuses on one specific planeswalker or one specific creature to do one key thing, maybe. Quintorius, Trumpeting Carnosaur, you're out of here. Maybe. Although I wouldn't expect to face Discover Combo. You never know. Black base stuff does seem to... Well, it seems like it's gone down a little bit. I haven't been facing it quite as much, so that was kind of my thinking of moving Leyline of Sanctity into the sideboard still definitely want to keep it to give me a pretty good chance against uh, the painful stuff coke zero if anybody's wondering jdx how's it going hopefully all is well with you cj link i have faced cj link before i'm pretty sure okay lovely Lovely stuff right there. Castle Garenbrig, Underground Mortuary, Jetmere's Garden. Eventually, I will get to that Arc Druid's Charm. Lovely. Underground Mortuary always enters tapped. We don't need the Regis or Alpha. Send it to the graveyard. We got two Polanyi's Hatchers in our hand, so should be good. Yeah, Coke Zero. That's where it's at. Pepsi. Wings of Redemption. Uh, I don't know. I like Coke Zero. It's good stuff. Although this is uh, Rakdos Sacrifice, it seems, with the Dreadhorde Butcher. I don't remember the last time I've seen it, but it gets incrementally bigger. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. This is a deck that is ripe for Ritual of Soot. Possibly Extinction Event would be better. This particular version of Rakdos has a lot of uh, death triggers, so... Well, we might just be dead. Oh, I would imagine we're probably dead. Yeah. I think it might just be Rakdos Aggro. What am I searching for? I was just reading a text from my wife there. Oh. Sunken Citadel. Okay, okay. Green. We're good, we're good. Yeah, it might just be... Some sort of Rakdos aggro. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Painful. Okay. Well, that, uh, yeah, There's nothing much I could do. Normally I would expect to lose to aggro. Nice to lose to a different variation of it. But uh, Ritual of Soot, coming in hot. I uh, Anoint with Affliction. You know what? I say we go big, we go home. Single target things. If that uh, pesky Dreadhorde Butcher gets big, exiling it. Gets around that death trigger, doesn't actually die, just disappears. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Dreadmaw? Nah. None of that. No commune. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. 
hey, at least I got a lot of stuff to hate against it. I'll try and look for an opening, getting rid of that Dreadhorde Butcher, hopefully with Ritual of Soot, destroying it and not taking too much damage in the process. But it seems like a lovely hand. Got easily my sources of black. Should be good. Sunken as well, but hopefully there's no thought sees. I kind of I suspect there might not be. Hmm. Now the question becomes, we'll wait and see what they do. I'll probably exile Inti. This, no, okay, well, no, you're not attacking. Go away. Forever. See you later. Wait until it goes to combat. They, if I did it in the main phase, maybe they had some hasty creature that they would have played and still attacked with. Or something like that. Cavernous Souls. I want to maintain as much as possible the dinos in Dath of Traum. It's my land for the turn. But I still have the three green for Arcdruids to search for you know what. Although I probably could have kept Cavern come to think of it. I'm still on the mindset of Indatha Trium being something that's red. Again, it's not a often scenario seeing Pliny's Hatcher and Regis or Alpha so many and not being able to cast them, but it does happen every now and then. It, uh, it's painful. Well, one Pliny's at least. Hey, they might have been stuck in my hand. At, oh, anyways, anyways. Five lands, there you go. Whew. Now I just have to have everybody cross their fingers. The opponent doesn't have Lilian of the Veil vale or Shodred's Edict. Okay, that's not going to do it. Watch me top deck another T Rex. Let's go. Oh boy. Carnage Tyrant is okay, so maybe they just concede on the spot. Aw, oh, shucks, I feel so bad. Who needs sweepers when you just do that? Perhaps. Perhaps that game plan right there... Again, I've mentioned it a lot of times. It could just be elevated. Made more consistent as the main way to just beat up on anybody and everybody. If I can get them down more consistently than I already do, might be nice to explore. Huh. Ruthless aggression. <laughs> Phew. My goodness. Do I want ritual of a soot? I probably should. A Kroxa. The crazy thing, again, about Kroxa. If we take a look at it, even though they escape it for four, it's a big creature, it's a six, six. Always keep in mind, Kroxa has a mana value of two. Ritual of Soot will take it out. They're going to exile five other cards from their graveyard. They're going to feel good. They got this big thing. And then boom. Oof. Of course, they could claim return target creature card with mana value two or less. This is very painful stuff. So they return Kroxa. And it's not a pretty sight. Give it haste, I think. Oh no, never mind. They they sacrifice it unless it escaped. But anyways, if a Croaks is in their graveyard, they can claim for one black. He enters. We have to discard a card. So kind of for one black. Claim becomes a discard spell. Sorcery speed discard spell. Yeah, I think we keep it the same. I like it. Okay, Ritual of Soot, let's go. Hopefully not too much in the way of Thought Seas. Perhaps we've gotten a little bit fortunate right now. Get the Indatha Trium down. It's my source of black. It's a forest for Castle Garenbrig. Sunken too. Big time. Uh, possibly Sylvan Scrying next turn. Maybe. 
maintain Arcdrude's term to possibly search for you know who, Galta. We might need that. Hopefully I draw her. Okay, okay, that's not exactly it. Hmm. Hmm, let me think. Still gonna go sunken, Arcdrids. You know what? I wanna try that. Grab the other sunken, it always enters tapped, it supercharges an eventual Castle Garenbrig, which I don't have yet, but maybe I draw Castle Garenbrig, and then I grab Galta. If I draw Galta, I grab Castle Garenbrig. Either or could be a good chance. Thud, I hope uh, don't jinx it. Don't don't jinx it with that thud. I'm a little bit worried. That, that would that would do us in. This would also do us in. Man, that dreadhorde butcher is a butcher. Too too fast. I can't do anything. No, no, I can't do. It. No. Not gonna do it. Nuts. Darn. Oh, excuse me, I drank that too fast. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, I guess we'll never know if the opponent had Thud sacrificing the, the Butcher, and they would have dealt damage to us equal to its power, plus also the Butcher does that when it dies, and uh, hey, they were good aggro stuff. They got the job done. But going to the Ritual of Soot Point again, it does need two black. I'm not that worried. I've got, I think, the full playset of Endatha Triumph. So that gets me my sources of black. One underground mortuary, five, plus the Sunken Citadels. Choosing one of those is black. Sylvan's going to grab another Endatha Triumph. The one nurturing Bristleback could dig and grab Endatha Triumph, which, I don't know, it feels consistent enough especially consistent enough for what the Ritual of Soot will do. But I've, I've faced this person before. I'm positive. Gotta be. Maybe they're watching my stream. It always makes me wonder, because the pool of Explorer well, it's smaller than the other formats, the Qs. So it makes me think, oh, if I've faced an opponent quite a few times, maybe they've clued in and they see or know I have a YouTube checking it out. Uh, maybe it's happened once or twice. I'm not bothered by it. I'm having a good time. Doesn't matter. Perhaps the opponent, if they do see me right now, they're witnessing their destruction deadly nasty stuff don't worry don't worry i'm going to be getting rid of the earthshaker dreadmaw yeah thought seas can get rid of carnage tyrant oh mono red aggro maybe goblins well that is interesting huh yeah and datha trium this hand looked quite lovely in Datha, sunken in the forest at the very least, gets us the three green for Arcdrudes to grab Castle Garenbrig, but we'll try for a commune. Turn three, 100%, it's going to be Arcdrudes' charm. I won't have a mana for commune, so it might as well happen this coming turn. Mm -hmm. A fugitive codebreaker, huh? That is interesting. Hopefully, commune can get castle. Ga well, not castle Garenbrig. Will I get enough lands? That's the question. In this scenario, would I rather Galta? Let's do it. Let's go big, go home. We've got the forest, like I said. We'll get Arc Druids, Jetmires at some point. I might cycle if. I draw a few more lands. I could see that being a real scenario. But Ritual of Soot for 
what appears to be mono red goblins i think i think this could be the ticket big time but with ritual of soot maybe it's a little bit better i trim jetmere's garden for further things that give me sources of black oh yeah ritual of soot is gonna smoke them i think hopefully 10 2 5 i think we're mostly dead i'm uh, pretty much guaranteed with that muta vault that is going to get powered up with the hobgoblin bandit lord unfortunately other goblins they control get plus one plus one and the muta vault itself is a goblin they could play another goblin with haste for one possibly i don't believe we're living this turn doesn't exactly matter since at the moment i will only be able to make oh, excuse me six next turn jetmere's garden there it enters tapped unfortunately hmm. Hmm. we'll get there we'll get there we got sweepers we got stuff i'll probably bring in anoint with affliction i don't imagine there are any goblins in this list that are above a mana value of three very nice to exile the hobgoblin bandit lord really bring the overall <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh my goodness excuse me well speaking of lords i jinx myself bring down the the overall power maybe i should be starting with ritual of soot if it's gonna be all aggro kind of like i started with ley line of sanctity yeah okay okay ritual of soot anoint with affliction let's let's go let's get it done basically i figure i just have to sweep them i still have a ton of big bodies with carnage tyrant and tyrannix rex galta and all that stuff just interesting to face two quite aggressive decks back to back eh, you never know what it's going to be but that is not a hand that that would not be a good hand to keep better yeah no, definitely hmm i think we keep galta yeah watch me draw another copy yeah, that's how it goes yeah yeah keep cavern of souls that if i run into that scenario where i can't make the source of red for Plenty's hatch or regis or alpha cavern of souls naming dinosaur just to get us there yeah no i'll keep it i'll keep it draw surak and gorklaw you know you wanna get the forest down just so i have a forest type land not that i would have done anything different maybe cavern of souls but if i draw into that arc druid's charm i want to hopefully have three sources of green paulo how's it going hopefully all is well with you tonight or this morning whenever it is yeah i'm doing good the snow has melted there's still a couple snow banks very small ones but uh the snow's melted here where i'm at it's nice and warm most days or uh, minus it, it gets a little bit minus some nights minus one minus two but for the most part during the day it's pretty good 100 percent. we need that first sunken citadel hopefully another one technically i should be choosing black for this but then I may not have two green to activate Castle Garenbrake. Cavern of Souls can't provide the green to do that. We'll see. If I draw a land, that's okay. Okay. Good. Good. Phew. Uh, drawing that forest. Lovely stuff. Now I don't have to worry quite as much. Squee. Dubious monarch. I still think I should take out the Rundevelt Horde Master. It's adding three more total power. Dubious Monarch fan. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Now. 
Grundevelt out of there. Buy us a little bit of time at least. Play Planny's Hatcher next turn. I think that would be quite decent. Just get multiple bodies and maybe Planny's will buy us time. Or maybe another Anoint with Affliction. Take out Squee. Continue to do so. I sadly don't have that second source of black that I need for Ritual of Soot. So this opponent, as the previous Rakdos opponent did, they might be uh, smoking us instead. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that, that tends to do the trick. My goodness, the, you jinxed it, saying exact damage multiple times. Uh, I got some stuff for some stuff, and then you don't see the stuff that would help to decimate opponents. Yeah, sometimes, you know, people go six sweepers, they have four main ones and then two more if they're feeling extra worried something like that maybe bring in more sweepers if they're on the draw because the opponent is going to be well naturally going fast uh, aggro deck so you want to increase the chances of seeing a sweeper more to decimate the opponent take them down a notch something like that there is of course many many things to consider especially with something like this that isn't exactly solved at least for me it's mostly solved you got the general idea and sprinkle in all the other goodies you like whether you dip your toe into some other color blue black white you trim red all together but I don't think that would be good you want to keep Regis Ralph and Polanyi's Hatcher. Keep the haste going. Keep the dream alive. That's not a... Well, it's not bad. Two lands, plus the Nurturing Bristleback, which I do like to see because there is only one copy in the list tonight. You know what? Let's do it. Underground Mortuary as our first land. We see what's on top. If it's a land, we keep... Oh, that don't need that. All right. We're one turn closer to Sylvan Scrying, Arcdruid's Charm, something like that. Okay. Thought sees sadly getting rid of Nurturing Bristleback if the opponent doesn't realize what it can do. Hopefully they make the mistake of getting rid of something else. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Don't do it. Something else. Something else. Oh, oh, they're looking at Galta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, this is it. Good. Good. You goofed up. Oh, phew. Dodged a bullet right there. All right. And that's it now. Maybe. Yeah. And that's a trout. I don't have anything that requires black or white to begin with tonight. Oh, Rakdos Vampires to begin with tonight. Okay, okay. Sometimes you just get a another copy. Yeah. A little rough. Castle Garenbrig next turn would be pretty good. Entering untapped and then I would actually have... Oh, that is interesting. Huh. Let me think. Sylvan's crying with. I don't have to think that much. Grab Sunken. Always enters tapped. Play it. Next turn we go in Death of Trium. Arc Druids to grab Castle Garenbrig. Hopefully I draw Castle Garenbrig or Galta. Then that determines what Arc Druids is going to grab. The one thing that I don't have. Part of the package. If we're still alive, of course. We're at 12. The opponent hasn't cheated out the Vein Ripper quite yet. Okay. Okay. Do I like that? Kind of do. Let me think. Sylvan. 
to grab castle to play untapped and I have three green with Indatha sunken castle I can still go okay I like that six seven either way it's gonna be rough I think I might just risk it arc druids to grab a Galta stampede tyrant and hope I'm gonna sneeze again <coughs> oh. <coughs> My goodness. Arc Druids to grab Galtus Stampede Tyrant, even though at the moment I can't make 8 next turn. If Indatha Traum entered untapped, I could. And I'd be feeling much better about the chances. Oh, I'm going to risk it. Oh boy. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. What do they want to do? Maybe they think I have something up my sleeve. Technically, that is true. Playing that Vein Ripper for six. Do it. No Thoughtsies. Vein Ripper. Oh, oh boy. I've never faced this deck before in my life. Okay. Alright, cross your fingers. We are hoping for a land that enters untapped. Forest, cavern, or another castle garen break. If we get that, they die. Okay, okay, I waited for that to finish. Sent out the good game. Oh, smoked. Too slow, buddy. Eat it. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay, maybe not. Got a little bit ahead of myself. I do forget that. Galta doesn't get the haste from Surak because it's already out. That's awkward. Cheers. Well, at the very least, that's why you uh that's why you always have haste. Redundancy for that. Leyline of Sanctity, bringing it in, and, uh, all right, Commune with Dinosaurs out. Sometimes that's what I thought, because Commune can't grab Leyline of Sanctity, you would always have to pass it up, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, I know, I can't believe I forgot this. the little dinosaur knocking some sense into me for thinking I had it. That's why I played that one. It's been a while since I've played it. It's a good show. Okay, that, that too. That one's also quite appropriate. It's kind of what I was saying as I as it happened, I, and I did the math, and it started to not add up, sadly. But hey, it was pretty cool that it happened. I'm glad I listened to my gut. I, well, it was a last-ditch effort. If I did it any other way, it, uh, well, it wouldn't have almost worked out.
eventually here. Maybe the opponent thinks I'm mad, which is not the case, of course. We'll get there, eventually. Maybe they think I'm, I'm raging because I thought I got it done and then I didn't. And they're like, yeah, this opponent's going to be salty or they're scared. They know how big of a bullet that they dodged. And now they're wondering to themselves, do I have to bring in all the hand hate that I possibly have? That could be the case. It's a very real possibility. But they're about to find out that they can't discard anything with the ley line of sanctity so hopefully we see it usually i find myself mulliganing aggressively although that's that's a nice hand is it just going to get thought i gotta try it i gotta try it and i gotta hope but two sunken citadels sylvan scrying arcdruid's charm i think it's worth it even in the face of the potential thought sees and duress. If I didn't have Sylvan Scrying and it was just Arcdruid's charm, knowing that the early thought sees and whatever, it would guarantee to get rid of it. Two options to dig for a land makes me feel good, but if I only had one of these two, I probably would have mulliganed. Yeah. Maybe they went AFK. I kind of suspected something like that. I'm pretty sure the sideboarding went completely to time, but maybe they're wanting me to concede. I don't know. I don't know. Putting me to sleep. Dang! Oh. We'll get there. Enjoy the music. As we wait, twiddle our thumbs. I need the Jeopardy theme song. One of these days, I'm going to see if I can actually play it on a stream and not get a copyright strike. I've always been a little worried about that. If you are wondering about the music that is playing up top, that is a service I subscribe to. Yearly service where I can choose electronic songs, make my own playlist, play them on my stream but only specific ones but the label that I'm with there that I can draw from they have like 10,000 electronic songs all kinds of different genres so there's a lot to choose from okay okay phew yeah kind of redemption redemption ish for the awful a misreading of the situation huh I shook them so bad I don't even have to kill opponents to kill opponents they were so stunned that they got away just with a sliver of health they're like oh my goodness I threw everything at this opponent and they still did that I just barely won and I did the best potential my deck could possibly do getting the vein rippers down and all of that man man yeah we'll take it it happens Whew. but i gotta say if i make that happen it's not the first time I'm devastating an opponent just barely getting it done usually it does get it done but they throw everything at you and then you top deck something so incredibly amazing you get that win and you're only left with a sliver of health and then the opponents left scratching their head what more could they do chances are they couldn't have done anything more in a lot of cases because they swept you sweeper sweeper counter spell counter spell or their counter spells are sitting in their hand dead because you've got a cavern of souls protecting all those dinosaurs that are coming down and then they're thinking to themselves well this is so incredibly unlucky because it is it's not popular yet but i think uh i think it'll get there one of these days whatever variation that happens to be the more 
aggro one or something kind of like this. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. Uh, Karuga. This is not something black. This could be the discover combo that I was mentioning. Sometimes Karuga is used in lists with Quintorius canned. I'm going to try it because I don't expect a thought seize. We, we should be safe. If I knew it would be a thought seize type deck, I'd probably mulligan once. Now. Ah. Excuse me, hopefully it's not Quintorius. It could also be five color fires of invention, enigmatic incarnation, enchantment deck, sacrifice an enchantment, search for a creature with a mana value equal to that sacrificed enchantment plus one and uh, getting that underground mortuary might mean we have one. I like redundancy, especially against this deck. I would imagine they have at least one white to play the ley line binding down the line, and they would certainly cast it, exiling the potentially single Polanyi's Hatcher or Regis or Alpha, stopping everybody from attacking that turn. However, commune to dig for sunken. We'll see. Do it. Always commune first, just to see if you happen to grab a sunken and it can be your land for the turn. I would assume I'm going to grab it. Either with this commune or with the Castle Garenbrig that I play and then I go with the second commune. What are they doing though? Another opponent uh, playing a little bit slower. Or AFK. Maybe there's some bug or glitch going around. Maybe the algorithm is taking pity on me. Okay, well, that's uh, in Dath of Trial. Might as well. Always enters the battlefield tapped, and there you go. But again, commune with dinosaurs next turn to start. We haven't seen a sunken citadel yet. Four cards at the bottom, 50 in total in the deck. By next turn, we will have seen through a quarter of the deck and if we haven't seen a sunken yet rough commune is going to dig another five further so we will be seeing a third total of the deck after we cast commune sunken Citadel is coming up gotta be huh maybe they are afk maybe they know what's about to happen they know this is going to be the super powerful scary version of dinosaurs they're all scary versions that the more aggressive version of dinos would almost always beat me because i'm not doing too much early it is rough to recover from bashing with rampaging raptors and the marauding the classics it's uh it's difficult i don't know this is uh, a variance i guess you could have this happen back to back and uh oh 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 they're back Whew. okay okay maybe they're kicking themselves maybe they had to get a drink or something all right still no sunken citadel not one of four in the top third nuts this community's gotta get gotta get it let's go Phew, my goodness. That was uh, crazy, crazy stuff. Getting close to halfway. Oh, here's Quintorius Canned coming in hot. Get that concede button ready. Okie dokie. <laughs> hey, I predicted it uh, at the very least. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they were going AFK because they really weren't worried. They knew... What it would be, Quintorius Canned, though, if you see it, you're dead. Well, usually. All right. Tear us under. That's, uh, that's what we're doing. That's the ticket to 
hopefully get rid of it. Now, possibly tear asunder, could exile the treasure that is getting them to five mana on turn four after they discard the magma opus or whatever it is. I've won against a Quintorius Canned Discover deck before that way. I'm pretty sure it was a Terra Sunder, right? It actually might have been an Arcdruid's Charm to exile the treasure, and then they just never found the fifth mana to cast Quintorius. That was, that was a highlight, big time. However, Earthshaker, out of there. Three copies, and... That'll about do it, but pretty much. Anoint with Affliction, this opponent doesn't really have uh, any small creatures that we could target. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Leyline of Sanctity, they're not targeting us, so... Well, hey, keep it. We know what it is, and that should be pretty fantastic. They're all tap lands, but it's our three sources of green, and one of those is a sunken citadel we could you know reasonably draw a sylvan scrying play that maybe on turn two no not 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 on turn two we got to maintain and get to three sources of green as soon as possible for arc druids don't want to taint that potential by having cavern souls come down earlier than it needs to could maybe cycle in death at trial. That's also a good possibility. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Hopefully a Castle Garenbrig next turn that would certainly be ideal. Actually Arc Druid's turn, we might we might get rid of that treasure. I'm gonna try. Or tear asunder. That treasure has to go 100%. We have to attempt to hold him off of it, but Commune is going to dig. Hopefully, Castle Garenbrig, a forest, 100%, that's what it's got to be. We still maintain the three of Arcdruid's charm, and uh, let's see if they do anything. A little bit. See if they cycle something. Okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, hopefully this works out. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell, but I imagine they have maybe little bits, ways to protect the combo. Although they wouldn't want to discover into the counter spell, so yeah, for, for the most part, they, they probably don't have too many ways to protect it. I bet. Play that untapped land. Oh, steam vents. You were about... Oh, and tear asunder. And... I have enough to exile him, but but they we can't do it. We can't do it. We gotta wait. We gotta hold up four mana forever as we uh, do our thing, as we get there, which we will with Sylvan to grab the castle, play it for the turn, and we still still have the four. Beautiful, but play Quintorius. Do it. You you know you wanna. Let's see it. Oh, play. Oh, Trumpeting Carnosaur. Man, that, that's a card. I'll wait and see what they discover. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. See you later. Oh, oh, shucks. That was beautiful. Get Planny's Hatcher down. Hopefully play Galta next turn. Hopefully it's not another Trumpeting Carnosaur. Phew. Don't have another one. Don't have Quintorius. They don't have a source of white, so they can't play Quintorius at the moment. Oh boy. They have... Okay. There's the white for Quintorius. Uh -huh. Hey, we stopped them, but they have eight ways to do the thing. To get the discovered chain going. I don't know. We had a universal way to stop it at instant speed, which is pretty good. I mean, you have to try something. Four to exile Trumpeting Carnosaur. I don't know. 
You try, and sometimes it doesn't work out. But it works out a little bit, at the very least. It's a good uh, illustration for the usefulness of Terra Sunder. It's pretty easy to get a, a single source of black. It ends up being two of any color, a black and a green. A total of four to exile any non-land permanent at instant speed. It's pretty decent. Yeah, that's why I love it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'm gonna hope it's not something with uh, Thoughtsees, but of course it could be. Uh, you know what? Commune though. Turn it into a land right away. Hundred percent. Watch them go Thoughtsees. Now we have the Castle Garenbrig. We have three lands. We're looking better. There it is. Oh, phew. They could have got rid of Commune, which would have held us off of a potential Arc Druids. Maybe never drawing that third land by turn three. But 100% Arc Druids charm is gone. Gotta be gone. Unless they have a Duress or a Thought Seize next turn. They know I won't be getting to three mana coming up, so. I could see them getting rid of some other creature because Arcturus is going away. Okay. Okay, yes, please. D there you go. Arcturus, stay there, buddy. Okay. I didn't see that coming at all. A mile away. Where's their land? I'm not raging. We're going to get there. On turn four, we'll be able to make six with Indatha with Castle Garenbrig. Ooh, this is this is looking good. At the very least, I get to play one of the Earthshaker Dreadmaws. Like I mentioned, playing it into nothing is kind of painful. It's not Soren Imperious Bloodlord, so that's the thumbs up. However, Carnage Tyrant is the thumbs up. Hopefully, they don't have any sacrificing things, but. Uh, at the very least, I played some other creature for six. So now Earthshaker Dreadmaws at least draw one card with one dino out. Flooded. Interesting. Blot out, maybe. Something bad. Arcfiend of the Dross, that is a creature. Another sunken citadel well going to choose red just to get my source of red okay okay well we're gonna see if arc fiend trades with carnage tarns i'm curious okay maybe we're safe hopefully still at a very healthy 20 but i would have thought that maybe they would have traded with it perhaps if they play Shieldred, they're basically dead next turn with Tyrannix Rex. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. I don't think they can deal 20 to me in a single turn, but you never know. Soren Imperious Bloodlord certainly is something. Okay. Gain some life, get back up to 17. Shieldred's Edict to perhaps force us to sacrifice Earthshaker Dreadmaw. Or just draw Galta Stampede Tarrant and play that. Okay. Block it, good stuff. I hope. Okay. Is there some creative way I can do this? Trainix Rex... Uh, Trainix Rex is the best bet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't think that's enough. They have six total toughness. We're going to find out. I'm not bothering to do the math because there is no better play than that.
Oh, painful. Six. Yeah, that should be it. Soren Imperious Bloodlord is going to sacrifice one of the Mutavolts after they deal damage. A creature dies and we lose life and we're dealt three. Darn. Close. Close but no cigar. Scary stuff though. Scary stuff. Alright, well, you're not going to be targeting me much at all. Leyline in. Big time. Earthshaker, I kind of want to keep Earthshaker in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Trim Commune. Kind of want to keep Commune in as well, but Leyline of Sanctity, big time. That's, that's going to help. Should. We got to be a little bit more aggressive. If the opening hand has Leyline of Sanctity or maybe after one mulligan, normally... If you didn't have it, you know you're going to be thought seized and duressed. But now, safely, you could keep a hand with Castle Garenbrig in a forest and Sylvan Scrying to grab a sunken, plus an Arc its Charm to grab another sunken, and all of a sudden, the opponent's chances have sunken, kind of like they almost did there. Darn. Watch us get that ley line of sanctity. I'll probably mulligan kind of kind of aggressively for it. But it is an interesting thing. You see a fantastic hand that doesn't include it. It does feel awkward. You want to keep it? You want to risk it? Do you risk it? There's a lot to evaluate. A little bit more, certainly, if you're using any of the ley lines. Hopefully I see two. I wouldn't expect the opponent to have maybe any ways of removing an enchantment, but you never know. Eventually. Once the, the nerves wear off, because they're like, oh my goodness, I dodged a bullet. Yeah. Ley line, you can do it. Yes, please keep 100%. Don't. I saw sunken and castle in a snap and ley line. Perfect. Nurturing bristle back. For a cycle it for two, we have two lands. Good. Which means we get the third land for Arcturids to grab another sunken. Good. We're good. Keep a hand with. Two dresses and thought sees. <laughs> oh shucks. Oh boy. Oh man. Cry me a river. Oh boo, were you gonna see what I had? No, you're not. Not anymore. We still could lose to the turn three Vein Ripper, of course, but at the very least, Vein Ripper's ability does not get us. It is just a big flying creature and that's not scary at all. Underground Mortuary. We're going to see what's on top. Not that it matters too much, but drawing a land for the turn certainly would be better than drawing a second Regis or Alpha, so we might as well put it into the graveyard. Increase the chances of seeing it and if we do, we would win. Potentially. Possibly. You know what? We'll hold off. I don't suspect there's going to be much that Arcturids would want to take out. I think it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to be searching for the second Sunken. Able to make seven, and then if we draw a land untapped, Galta and win. I think. Hopefully. Oh, blot out too. Oh. Which is dead. Useless. Quite funny stuff. Never gets old. Target opponent. Oh, you can't target us. There you go. You gotta sit there and be scared. Hmm. 
<laughs> this is funny. I love it. I just wish I could see their hand, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Sprinkle in some hand revealing stuff and uh, hopefully Arc Fiend doesn't get us too bad. Okay, Arc Druid's Charm. Second Sunken, Land Untapped, The Castle, Cavern of Souls, A Forest, something. Something. We're at 14, so maybe, maybe we can survive. Land untapped, land untapped. Okay, that's not land untapped. But the best thing I would imagine is Carnage Tarrant. The most durable and scary thing. Live. One more turn. Victor, how's it going? Hopefully all is well with you. I didn't go to the pre-release myself. Usually don't get the uh, time to do so. But hopefully you guys, any of you who went to the pre-release, you got some good stuff. I hope... You got a Vaultborn Tyrant. That'd be extra good. Man. I've got three Vaultborn Tyrants ordered myself, so... Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Land on tap. It's gotta be this turn. Not making that mistake again. This time I know I got it. I got it. Planny, Redisor, Urshaker. Watch watch all these cards I draw. Not that I need all these cards, but I refill my hands. That's what it's all about. Deadly. Maybe not. I, don't know. I think that's it. Yeah, baby. Ah, I, I should add that too. Huh. They can only kill one thing if they have go for the throat. Whatever it's called. You're out of here. Oh, do you have a fatal push? You're going to take a one dino token? Oh, shucks. Look. All my stuff is above a mana value of four. What are you going to do? Fatal push the egg that I crack. Do it. Oh, look at that. And it, I drew so much I have to discard. I'm going to get rid of a ley line of sanctity, but yeah, it'll probably fail to push the egg I crack. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Well, we got to attack with everything. If we don't, of course, we would die, but maybe that's it. That's our best chance, our best bet. Yeah, either way, it's good. Even if we don't quite get it done. Okay, okay, I thought that might be something that happens. I think it's still enough. Six, ten, nineteen, ten, two, ten. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes. Commander Crane, I, I turned the the jinx you gave me. I don't mind, but I turned the jinx you gave me into a positive. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Exactly. Phew. Uh, two embarrassments in a night. Uh, that would have been rough. I redeemed myself. Good, but uh, Ley Line of Sanctity staying in. Big time. I, I would bet money. I would bet $200, $300 that opponent has not been smacked quite like that with a dinosaur deck. They're wondering what the heck just happened. Death. Death happened. Phew. But that Arc Fiend of the Dross, I gotta say, painful. Painful stuff. 
I'm just glad we survived, able to wait a couple turns to get the land that I needed. It's kind of scary. The big arc fiend of the dross being a massive, massive flyer. However, we get to the scenario. We keep a hand that is so incredible, even in the face of a thought sees or a duress which maybe they're not prioritizing. They saw the ley line of sanctity and they know, huh, my discard spells may not do anything. I gotta do, I gotta keep it. I gotta try and I gotta hope. I have four lands. I would imagine Sylvan Scrying goes away to that thought sees, probably. Maybe, okay. It's not the end of the world. Maybe they get rid of Carnage Turn, but I'm almost certain it's going to be Sylvan Scrying. Yeah. Unless they have another dress, we can only go with one land. Sylvan Scrying would still be sitting in our hand when it goes to their turn, too. Okay. So I guess that is what's happening. Do I like a forest on top? We may need that forest big time. Especially saying goodbye to Sylvan. Oh, you! what are you doing? They must not be too worried because they have you know what. Turn three, Vein Ripper. Huh. Okay. Well, it is a good thing. It's one of the best things to do. Okay. Interesting. Arcturus Charm is going away. Now. Hey, at the very least, I got a sunken. I, I feel better. We know they don't have Soren. That's uh, a given. We get Carnage Tarrant next turn, which is quite nice to get a replacement. Okay. <laughs> There's the Vein Ripper. Coming in hot. Not. Yeah, all right. They don't have it. Good. Now, will they have something that sacrifices Carnage Tarrant or whatever? Hopefully not. Blot out. Unfortunately. Blot out. They're not doing a whole lot. They don't have the Vein Ripper. They don't have... Okay, they do have stuff. Okay, okay. Well, we're not quite dead yet. Close-ish. Call to Primal Hunger might be nice next turn, but with the big life gain that Vein Ripper is going to be, we probably won't be recovering from this. I could drop Galta Stampede Tyrant, though. I will be able to make eight. Eh, flooded, sadly. With that other forest, that's how it goes sometimes. There's not a 0% chance. Boy, there's not a whole lot they have to do. Just use Soren, get Life Link on Vein Ripper, attack, gain a bunch of life. They see we only have two forests. It's not like I'm magically going to do something that is going to help me recover. Maybe they just want me to concede or something. Oh, well, you never know. Huh. Good stuff. Painful stuff. Okay, interesting. Big creature, big creature, big creature. Okay, big creature with haste. I like Carnage Tyrant. Alright. Do they have removal for Redisar? We're about to find out. Three for there. Seven to them, and... Uh, Oh yeah, never mind. Vein Ripper is six power. What am I talking about? I got so excited getting Carnage turned. Darn. Nuts. Yeah. We'll get Vaultborn Tyrant soon enough. Two more days. It is so infinitely better than Earthshaker Dreadmaw. 
kind of highlighting, comparing. You, you can see it's like, man, how amazing would that have been? Real good, real good. All right, I had a good time. Just some highs, some lows, but uh, good all around. As always, have a good rest of your time zone. Get some good rest, and uh, you'll certainly need it. Because on Tuesday, everything changes. Not just a little bit, a lot, at least for me. And I think eventually down the line, probably for a lot of people, a lot of other decks, I think Thunder Junction is going to shake it up quite a bit. But that might just be because I'm so excited for Vaultborn Tyrant. Right. See you next time. Peace.